Our today topic is importance of texture in design as it is a lengthy topic and we have practical work with it so I have divided into two parts this is part one let's start the element of design is defined as the element required for making design or a plan or drawing which is used to show the look and function of building and other object before it is made is called as element of design what is texture texture is an element of art texture is the surface quality or feel of an object its smoothness roughness softness Texture may be actual or simulated. Actual texture can be felt with the fingers while simulated or virtual or you can say visual texture are suggested by an artist in the painting of different areas of a picture. Often in representing drapery, metals, rocks, hair, etc. The sensation caused by the external surface of object received through the sense of touch. Textures create visual interest and add those touches of detail that were previously missing. Silky, softy, smooth, hard, rough, sharp. We can say how things feel. Why texture is important? or importance of texture in designing. Textures allow viewer see the buildings as well as imagine how it would feel. Texture can make or break a structure or building design. It can create pattern or rhythm. You know rhythm is element of continuity. It creates continuity in the composition and allows the viewer to believe the piece moves through space. Texture can be used to define shapes or space or area or perspective, add visual interest, create details, create mood, Emphasize to ensure a space is visually appealing. Elements of color, shape, pattern, line and texture come into play. These complementary foundations of interior design work together to create a seamless space that light, lig, uh, lignites the senses. Create a tactile response, evoke memories and add realism. Everything has a texture or a surface. Words describing texture include flat, smoothy, shiny, glossy, glittery, velvety, feathery, soft, wet, furry, sandy, leathery, crackled, prickly, abrasive, rough, furry, bumpy, puffy, rusty, and slimy. The list is endless. All these words explain different type of textures. Texture have many types. Some important types are tactile texture, visual texture, natural texture, artificial texture, abstract texture, and invented texture. There are a lot of types of texture. This is the flowchart of texture classification. How they are made, natural and artificial artificial texture is included in this type how they are perceived actual or tactile and visual texture include in this class first one is tactile texture tactile texture or actual texture or physical texture 
is same. We perceive it by touching an object. Every material has a different touch, so it is a different texture like silk, jute, jeans in fabric and stones, metals. In other words, it is the form the surface takes which causes the sensation when it is touched. It is the feel of a surface. One common example is Van Gogh's painting The Starry Night in which thick paint strokes create the impesto technique using impesto technique create the movement or maybe some wind. These are different types of tactile texture. You can see wooden, stone, cemented, tiles, rope texture. Types of tactile texture, some common types are here. Metal, the source of metal is iron, aluminium, nickel, zinc, copper, brass. And in which form it is available? Bar, sheet, wire, extrusion, tube. And the surface which is used in designing, finished surface, polished in the polish shape. Rusted, weathered, painted, raw, dry cut. All are used in designing. Second one is stone. There are different types of stone like limestone, granite, marble, sandstone, field stone. And we use these stones in natural form, in polished or in weathered. Next one is concrete you know concrete is available in different sizes so because of the size it creates different type of surface percentage and size of aggregate include in composition will change the surface appearance what is the finished look floated aggregated prominence stained painted more concrete textures different types of stones and their finished textures all are used in designing and uh, usually its common example is mural paintings paintings on walls or stones big slabs of stones are used um, for painting next one is glass all glass is essentially melted sand glass and mirror and glass and mirror are available in sheets, tubes and in different objects like vases, decorative vases, household items, crockery, different type of glass is used and its finished position will be polished, etched, blasted, frosted, embedded, particles, stained glass, blinds, tinted glass, all are used in designing and painting. Next one is wood. There are many types of woods, oak, pine, elm, mahogany, cedar, fire, spruce. Each wood has a particular grain and grains add texture to wood. Next one is fabric. There are a lot of fabrics and its types. There is main two types of uh, fabric, natural fabric and man-made. Cotton, linen, wool, silk, rami, alpaca are natural fabrics. Rayon, acetate, nylon, polyester, acrylic, olefin, chiffon, etched are all are man-made fabrics. Texture of the fabric depends on the fiber and the fiber structure of the end product. Fabric structure. The next point is fabric structure. Fabric is manufactured by weaving, knitting or felting. 
Thread count refer to number of warp and filling. Threads per square inch before any finishing process has been applied. Types of waves include plane, basket, twill, herringbone, stain. These are different types of waving, waving technique. Visual texture and simulated texture. When we represent a textile texture using graphic elements, we get a visual texture. It is by seeing, not by touch. They tell the visual quality of the surface. It is an illusion of texture created by the designer on a plain smooth surface. The material is manipulated to give an impression of a texture, yet the surface of material remains soft and smooth. So it is basically an illusion or a representation. Visual texture is the faithful rendering of a real texture. In the extreme, it causes a deception. Visual texture can be created by photography. These are some visual textures. On the left side, you can see mangoes, sterinite, thick impesto strokes and rope texture, stone texture, and in leaves, natural texture is created on a canvas. Natural textures. We divide textures in another pair of categories, natural tex texture and artificial texture. Nat natural texture, it's the texture we find and it is not made by humans. For example, stone, sand, rice, waves of water, or plants, uh, texture on plants, on wood, on tr trunks. They belong to natural elements like the skin of an elephant, the cortex of a tree, or the surface of a rose petal. It is not man-made. Artificial textures. Artificial texture is the texture from things made by humans. For example, a pencil, a chair, a raincoat. The surface of any object made by us, steel, paper, different kinds of fabrics, different kinds of paper, man-made, manually uh, created paper or machine created papers, all are artificial textures. You can see in this slide the grassy texture on the left and woven texture on the right in grey color. Next one is abstract texture. A texture derived from the appearance of an actual surface but rearranged and or simplified by the artist to satisfy the demands of the artwork. Artist created according to the need of customer. Invented textures. A created texture whose only source is the artist imagination. It generally produces a pattern or style or design and should not be confused with the abstract texture. You can see in these images how artists create different patterns by using ground or surface or by using paints and pencils. Texture and pattern relation. What is the difference between texture and pattern? First of all, we should know that what is pattern? Pattern is a decorative design it can be flat, involves repetition and movement. We uh, repeat the patterns in a design, not concerned with surface texture, but with appearance. And texture? Texture is a stimula stimulates our tactile response. It can be actual, not just an illusion. 
does not simply engage the eye but also our sense of touch. This is one example of texture and pattern relation. The trees example you can read in the second point. In this way pattern changes to texture as you lose sight of the individual motifs. Patterns are generally more noticeable than textures. This makes them a strong visual element for controlling attention. Texture variations in interior design. It is the practical form of utilization of texture. How texture is applied and how it is important in interior designing. When we uh, study variations of texture, we come to know that good for the good composition, uh, it is important to know about the features of texture. Emotional effect. It is sophisticated and sleek, smooth and soft or cool, friendly, inviting, tranquil and precise, often unnoticeable and undemanding, defines form, color and space without becoming an additionally counted element. And thermal character. Shiny polished surfaces not only look cool, they evokes physical reaction for coolness. Surface character, they does not contain any surface contours, you know contour is a outline of any drawing. Surface friction can be it can be slippery sticky or bad looking effects of light visual textures are most suitable for different kinds of light smooth textured surface reflect light they make an object feel lighter and more modern textures such as silk paints with a sheen glazed or glossy finished mirrors and metals bounce light around the room smooth soft silky shiny flat, even, glossy surfaces, reflect lights. In this slide you can see different designs of interior designing, a bedroom scene, galleries, hotel lounge, sitting area, you can see different textures textures on wall, floor, sofas and colors and use of lights. It beautifies designs and create good composition. In the next part we will study different elements of texture features of texture. Now you will have practical work, create textural designs on your drawing sheets. Thank you students.